Hey everybody, it's Jen and I want to do a quick down and dirty overview and first impressions of this new SLG I picked up. This is the Coach Multifunction Card Case and it is in pebbled leather. I got it at Coach Outlet for a pretty great deal and I want to see what fits inside. I'll tell you about it. I'm going to link everything below. Some are affiliate links. And the reason I got it was because I have been rocking this North Face fanny pack lately. And my current wallet, I got it a few years ago at Kate Spade. And it's fairly compact uh, this way, but it's a little bit chunky. So I saw this on the Coach website and it's definitely a little bit thinner than the Kate Spade wallet. So I found that it takes up a lot of space in the fanny pack. This is a fairly small bag. I have a full review of it on another video if you want to check it out. But I saw this. This is a newish item. This is the color taupe, I believe, and it's really cute. And I had been eyeing up the Louis Vuitton Recto Verso. It has a really cool design, somewhat similar to this, but I did not like the price tag of the Recto Verso. So I saw this by Coach. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to see if I like this design, see if I can use this as a more compact wallet. It also looks like you might be able to put keys inside. So I'm going to try this out. Okay, so let me show you the item. It's a little under, let's see, five inches long. All right, so yeah, I have a gridded cutting mat because I also use this space to film sewing videos as well. So one, two, three, four. It's about 4.75 inches long. Let's see, it's about... 2.75 inches tall and it is about one inch deep and it has a front pocket here it has card slots on the back so it has one two three four card slots on the back and then it also has this little zipper compartment here by the way the coach zippers are really very nice quality they zipper effortlessly these are honestly better than the louis vuitton zippers in terms of ease of use. In fact, I shot another video on a Y2K era coach bag I have, and that bag is still in perfect condition. So the quality of the coach bags, I think has been pretty impressive. Now the front pocket is lined with a textile lining. Most of the inside of the multifunction card case is actually what feels like leather or like PU. I'm not sure exactly what it is. At least this is a wipeable lining. There is a little slip pocket on one side. Now this does have a text, uh, textile lining. Uh, so just, so it's, but most of the inside is a wipeable, cleanable lining in kind of a, uh, like a caramel color. It's got a little security thing in here. And then it came with a little, a little booklet with a QR code and a tag here. Uh, I guess the retail price is $150, but I, Definitely did not pay that. And I thought this would be a much better alternative to the Recto Verso in terms of price. It also has a little O-ring so you can clip your keys onto it or you can clip it onto like the inside of a bag or you could even clip this onto if you're wearing jeans. You could hook this onto a belt loop if you just really want to have a very, very minimalistic kind of vibe going on. The other thing I have uh, to test this out, I bought on Amazon, I got this little child, it's like some sort of child's entrepreneur kit. I'm not joking. And it came with some like fake credit cards and gift cards and some fake money. So I can kind of see what fits inside it. So let me kind of dump this out. Uh, the thing is with, with all of these types of videos, you obviously don't want to show your credit card info or your like driver's license. So I thought having these like little play cards, plus I have a Joann's gift card and a Starbucks gift card. So you'll be able to see how cards fit inside without me having to compromise uh, my, myself. Uh, so we're gonna be using that. This also came with some fake cash, although the fake cash is not the right size. Uh, so I thought this was gonna be actual size, but it's not. Let me take this card. I really like how the front little slot here has this little curve in it. It makes it much easier to put the card, take put the cards in and out. So you've got a card here and then let's see the card slots on the back. You could also put other things in here. You could put receipts in here. You could put cash uh, and use just the back slots for your cards. Let me put some more cards in here. So here's the thing I found out while I've been using this item is that the first card slot on the back is really easy to slide things in and out of because again, this has a little curve in the actual slot. The other three I found a little bit 
difficult to put cards in and out. So I would recommend you maybe put cards in the remaining three slots that you don't use very often. Cause I did have a, like a little bit of, maybe it'll help if once the card slots are a little more, you know, worn in. But I personally had a bit of a hard time getting cards um, in and out of the back three. So here, I'll kind of show you here. And again, these are little play cards. Seriously, this was like a kid's like business person kit. It was kind of funny. I'll link that below too, in case you want to check that out. So here is the card case with all of the card slots filled. Let me open this up and you can fit quite a few things inside. Like again, if I wanted to put like more cards on the interior pocket, I could. I could also use this to put, uh, you could put some cash in the little side pocket. I think that's actually a really convenient thing. And I brought a little lip product. This is a fresh, like it was in a holiday gift set. This is a, a fresh uh, sugar rose lip product. It's pretty small and this fits pretty nicely inside. Let's see, let me see how what, what else this fits. This is my dress up your purse mini pochette. So I got a few small items to kind of test out. Ah, so I've got some cold meds. So you can stick that inside. You can stick a hair tie in there. Also, it, yeah, look at this does fit a bigger size lip gloss in here. All right, so this stuff goes in pretty well. So if you wanted to use this sort of as a like compact catch-all, it definitely bulges out a little bit, you can see, but it it certainly technically fits. Uh, this is just a little bit thicker, but if you have a thinner lip product, I think that would work better. This one's just a little bit chunky. So if you have something smaller, I think that would fit even better. Let me see what else we got here. Oh, here we go. Here we got this uh, NYX Butter Gloss. All right, yeah, this fits without a lot of bulge here. So that's actually pretty nice. It's got a little bit, but not too much. The thing I wanted to test this out though is for uh, keys. All right, so I've been rocking this little Ikea, like micro shopping bag, like bag charm thing around for a while. And I need to minimalize my keys. I don't use really any of these store card things. Uh, I. I have a Sailor Moon keychain on here. I, I think I'm gonna take this off. It's been cool, Sailor Moon, it's been real, but you're just taking up a lot of room. So the only thing I really need are my car keys, my house key here, the pink key, and then I'm pretty sure this is the to my mom's house. Honestly, that's really all I need. So I'm going to be taking off uh, the store cards and then I need to figure this out, guys. I need to take off the store cards and then like this, yeah. So I really just need these two keys. So let me do this real quick. Ah, let's see if I can figure this out. And then I'll, actually, let me take the car keys off and then we'll kind of put everything on the ring. I'm gonna put everything on the ring with the car keys if I can figure this out. So let's take this off. All right. Yeah, I'm glad I don't have my nails done today because they would get destroyed by doing this. But I don't know. I feel like I just, this is too much and I'm carrying around a bunch of stuff that I, honestly really don't need. Uh, so I'm gonna take these off here. All right, yeah, these are always kind of tough here. These little sp split rings, oh my gosh. Usually I use, you know, I usually use like a knife too. That usually helps quite a bit. I'll, I'll use like a knife and then I'll kind of do it that way. Okay, here we go, got one. Yeah, my nails are gonna get, my nails are already getting totally destroyed by this. So I'm glad I have not done them. All right, yeah, here we go. All right, let's take one of these off. I'll take this over. I'm pretty sure this is my mom's house. So whenever I go to my mom's house, she usually is home and she has the door open. So I never really need to use the key, but I'm pretty I'm pretty sure that's what this key is for. I'm not, that's the thing. That's why I'm not like 100% though. All right, so I'm gonna take this off. All right, so look how much I was carrying around that I just really didn't need. So I'm gonna put that off to the side. So really, I just need these, uh, my car key, my key fob, and then these two things. I also got, I did get a pre-loved Louis Vuitton key holder. So I might use that. I, I gotta play around. I'm trying to figure out my like situation here, guys. I don't really know. All right, so let me put this on too. And then we're gonna see if this fits in to the coach item. Okay, so here's what I got now. This is much more pared down and a lot more manageable. Wow, my nails are totally destroyed. Uh, but, okay, so let me hook this onto the little uh, O-ring here. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to see if I could do this. And I already have uh, the cold meds inside. I've got a hair tie, and then I've got the little mini lip that product. Okay, yeah, look at, check this out. So you really can use this as like a key pouch. That's really what I wanted to see if I could do. It's, I don't know, it's a little bit bulky. If I didn't have the key fob, I think it would be uh, better. Or if I had, my car is kind of old. If I had a car, 
that just had the one fob. Okay. Yeah, this might not. I don't know if this is going to work. Let me try to take stuff out. I mean, it was a nice idea. I could still use this as like a keychain, but I'm not sure if this is going to work. I'm, I'm okay. Here we go. So here's my key fob and my, all my keys. And we'll try to zip this up. Honestly, I don't know if I'm loving this. I don't like this. So I'm not going to be doing this. I just, this is like way too bulky. So what I think I'm going to do is I will use, yeah, I'll use the little, I'll still put the keys on the O-ring, you know, just, you know, that's the thing. If you're just going inside like a gas station or something, this would be great just to bring with you because everything's attached. Also, you could attach a wristlet clip to it if you wanted to put it on your wrist. I think I actually do have some, so I could do that. Uh, all right, so let me take this off for a second. So I think I'll do that for that. I'm not, I don't think I'm going to keep the keys in here though, but what I am going to do, I think I'll use this as a little wallet and put some uh, cash in the side. So I think I'll put cash in the side pocket. I think that will definitely fit. And then I think I'll use this little compartment for like the little stuff, like this little like lip sugar thing, hair tie, you know, I could even put, I don't know if I'll use this for coins though. The thing with coins, here, I'll stick some in, is that I think whenever you open this thing, the coins could very easily fall out. So I don't feel like this is, yeah, I don't feel like this is secure enough for coins if I'm being honest. Uh, so I'll find something else for this. I mean, I'm glad I bought this. It is really cute. What, what do you think I should put in this little compartment? It's fairly sizable. It's not really flexible. I am glad I got the leather though. I think this is better quality. The thing with the canvas recto versos I saw is that the wear and tear on the canvas pieces seems a little bit rough and the Empreint leather version of the Louis Vuitton recto verso is insanely expensive. It's like seven, it's like $760 or something. And this I got for like 60 bucks. Although the price changes, so you'll have to check the coach outlet site for the latest price. But I think in terms of just keeping cards and like cash, I think this would totally work. Uh, also keeping little stuff like hair ties. Let me see what else I got in here. It won't fit a pen, so you're not gonna be able to get that in there. The Dior lip glow, this is definitely like way too chunky for that. Yeah, the keys, I was hoping it would work for the keys, but it's, it's just not happening. So I think I'll stick with using this for cards, uh, for things like cash and little things like, like hair ties and my little cold meds. I just get like, I get sinus infections, you know, every once in a while. So I'll probably keep that stuff in here from the uh, mini pushette. I do have the Chanel, just to, for a size comparison, this is the Chanel hand cream. This definitely does not fit in there at all. Uh, but it could fit little, you could fit thinner, like skinnier little lip tubes. Like this NYX Butter Gloss fits in here okay. Yeah, it's it bulges out a little bit, but it's not bad. I don't know, what do you think? Have you tried this item? Is there another item I should try? I mean, I'm glad I'm trying this out. I think it was really cute and for the price. Uh, it, yeah, it's really adorable. I love the color. I love the little coach logo here. That is ridiculously cute. It's a very cute item. So I would say my gripes for it are, I personally think all of the card slots here should have that little curve in the slot. I think that would be, be much easier to get cards in and out. Yeah, look how kind of, like this is not super easy to get the cards in and out. Like you really have to kind of struggle with it. Um, but maybe, maybe it would get better as time goes on and the card slots kind of loosen up a little bit, but this is a little bit, um, yeah, this is a little bit of a hassle. So really the only card slots that are like super usable are this first one on the back and then the one on the side. Yeah, even, here's the thing. Yeah, even if you have a lot of cards in here, it's a little bit, it's a little bit tricky to get your cards in and out if you have this filled. Uh, so I would put cards you don't use very often in the top three and then use this bottom first card slot for the one you, like I'm gonna keep my credit card in here and then I'm going to keep my driver's license in here. Let me see if two cards fit in the front one. Yeah, you know what? Actually, yeah, two cards fit in the front one pretty easily. Uh, so you could use it for that. You could also use the front slot for cash. Um, I wouldn't put anything that, yeah, you can definitely can't use this for coins or anything, uh, but I think I, can, I think I can make this work. I was just really hoping you know, I could use this as a key pouch and at least for my keys, if you only have like house keys and you don't have car keys, I think this would work much better. But you see what happens when I put my keys inside here and then try to zip it up. I, this is just like not 
Like, this is just not working. Um, yeah, this is not good, guys. This is not good. So I'm going to have to figure out another solution for my keys. Or I could just have the keys kind of hang off here. Uh, but then, you know, I don't want it, like, getting the inside of, like, this fanny pack all dirty or anything like that. Okay, so let's see what else we got here. I've got a tampon. The tampon is definitely uh, too big for that. And just for scale, too, I'll show you an iPhone. This is the iPhone uh, 13 iPhone 13 Pro, uh, and it this is definitely way too large uh, for this. Uh, yeah, so this is not really going to work. Um, but yeah, so you could use the inside of this for like little things like hair ties, uh, smaller tubes of lip products. You could put little like aspirin or medicine in here. I would not recommend putting coins in here. I think that would be a bad idea. And you could put cash or more cards on this little inside pocket. I mean, I'm glad it has the little pocket. I gotta try to figure out what I'm gonna do with this thing though, because I was really hoping it would work with the keys and I don't think it will. Okay, let me kind of zip it up. I'll try to put this in the fanny pack and see how that fits better. All right, so I've got my little, I've got a pen inside the fanny pack. I've got a tampon. This does fit pretty nicely inside the fanny pack. Yeah, I got to figure out the key situation. Let me put my hand cream in here. Let's see here. I'll put a lip product in here. Let's see. Where is the lip product? I was Okay. Oh, yeah. I want to put this one in here. I'm not going to put the lip gloss in here because it's a little like it, I live in Florida, so it's pretty hot. So I think things could get sticky real, real fast. Um, okay. So this does. I feel like this does fit a little bit better than the Kate Spade wallet. See, the Kate Spade wallet takes up like quite a bit of room. Like it takes up a lot of real estate in the fanny pack. And I do think that the coach card case takes up less space, but I'm not sure if I should put it upright or like down like, I feel like maybe down like that might work better. Also, I have to put my phone in here too. So that's something else to think about here. But this does fit in pretty nicely. I do feel like this is a little less bulky than the Kate Spade wallet. I gotta figure out the key situation. I did get a key holder. I'll be featuring that in another video to see if I can make that work. Um, I've seen some hacks on that, so I'm going to be uh, testing that out. But this is my kind of first impressions and a demonstration of the Coach multifunction card holder. Let me give it you another look. Uh, so I kind of shared my honest thoughts. This is not sponsored. I paid for this myself, and I do think it's really cute and beautiful. I love the little gold tone hardware on it. I just have to play with it a little bit more. I think it's good quality. So far, the zipper is super buttery smooth. Uh, so let me know what you think. Is this an item you're considering picking up? Do you have it? And I would love your suggestions. Anyways, I'll see you again in the next video. I am Jen.